How's it going guys? It's Eclipse here and today's video we will be taking you through all of the new maps, where to go on them when they first get dropped into the game. Obviously we've got five new maps that will be timestamped in the description below and also on the video so you can pinpoint the maps that you haven't played maybe or you want to find out more information about them. And we haven't got gameplay, of course, because they haven't been in the game for months and months and months and I don't actually have any gameplay still on this these new maps but what we will do is actually pinpoint areas on the map considering the maps will be the very very similar if not the exact same when they drop back into the game they'll just be updated so the positions will still be important for you to actually know where you should be going in the various different tanks where the points are that you don't want to be looking at at all and then we'll get into some of the positions that are pretty overpowered in the certain different tank classes. Now without further ado we will get into this video. I've got the map positions on screen so we've got um, your starting position on a standard battle uh, highlighted in the green and uh, in the red and blue colours on screen right now as you can see uh, these are the two different cap circles and that's the same for all of the different maps uh, that we will be covering today. So the first one being Westfield. Um, where where do you want to actually take your tanks? Well, if you're in a medium or a heavy tank, you want to be trundling your way up this big hill, considering this is actually quite a big hill. Um, right here, you actually see that you have to climb up it. And although some people might think, I don't want to climb up it, it is 100% super important in your medium and your light tanks to make your way up into this position right here on the map. This position uh, is kind of a hill, so you'll see that like, there's actually kind of like a hill area here, and it's super important because what the enemy team will also do is they'll trundle their way up um, into the same position from this area down. It's also a hill, so it takes approximately the same time, and then they'll make their way into this bit here, and this ridge line here is where you'll see a lot of uh, of your team and also the enemy team actually fighting. You also have this town area in here, um, you can use it to be able to progress the flank but what happens is often if there's people here, um, they, they can also take a diverted path using this area up here to come up to this position and what they can actually do is they can get shots onto anyone that actually decides to go into the town. So if they do that then you'll basically get a line of fire coming down onto the town so it's basically um, an area that you kind of want to avoid at the beginning of the game um, but maybe later on you'll be able to actually uh, take advantage of. Now similarly on the opposite side you have this position that you can take in your TDs you can actually go up into this spot here here is where there's a lot of bushes so the bushes provide cover around here so you'll be able to use them and remain undetected and take some shots at anyone that maybe pushes on the enemy team over in this area here and also anyone that pokes the ridge a little bit too high and then you can get shots onto them. Be aware though if you do get spotted artillery can fire straight into this area where they'll be kind of auto aiming or aiming here pre-aiming you and so it's kind of important that you do know that. So that's one position that you want to definitely uh, take your tank destroyer in because you can get some really good shots and it's a really defensible position. So if they push aggressively um, the opposite team, if they push um, round here, which is also a route that you'll see a lot of heavy tanks take because what happens is your team might push up to here and then the enemy team might also push up into this position and you will brawl on this kind of corner of this hill here. So you get multiple positions whereby your team will meet each other so you kind of get this kind of action going on and where you want to take your tank is genuinely dependent on what tank class you're going to be in. So predominantly in a heavy tank you want to be coming up to this position here. So where these are right there, that is where the heavy tanks kind of tend to go and it's the best position realistically for you to go because you don't need as much gun depression uh, which this position right here requires. So it's kind of important that you take your heavy tank there, your mediums here and then get some shots around. You can also come around this hill area here because there is one there. And then once you've won that flank uh, you can then decide um, to push down and, and down into this position here. Obviously it's dependent on how well you actually, um, how well you play on these different ridge lines up on this side of the map. Now predominantly up on this side of the map if you do win this area on the left hand side what tends to happen then is um, you can then push down this flank here so in the same kind of line 
um, that let's take the red spawn as the winning side on this side of the map. Well, if you then come up into this position, you've taken out all of the opponents that are over here. Some of the tanks might have gone round to this point here. Um, and then what you also get is a couple people going into this point here. Be aware, if you go into this area here, um, what tends to happen is the opposite team which that genuinely is always someone camping around here or maybe behind this hill here which provides cover there's kind of like a hill area there uh, which is quite lengthy and so people will will stay behind there as well as there is a little bit of a, a hill area there so that's kind of where people will tend to be these two positions they can actually get shots into you and so if you get spotted in this area here it can be really really bad for you as well as some of the team being here they can actually get shots into this area so if you do go into this area you need to be aware that if there's no one here you know you're pretty safe because what you can do is you can get behind one of the buildings here if you do get spotted by either of these two and then what you can do is just poke when you need to and they get spotted basically but if there is someone in this area here um, on the map then you need to be super uh, vigilant and aware of that because what can happen is if you go into this position as an aggressive kind of position in your heavy tank or your medium you can get outspotted fairly easily by any light tanks that tend to make their way up into these positions here uh, and alternatively light tanks can also come down to there so these are the kind of positions that you want to be aware of the enemy team at the end of the game this basically if you win this hill area up here on the map then you basically win the game the area to the like eastern side of the map this whole line here um where the blue blue line is basically is a bit of a uh you can win the game from here but this position is genuinely if you, you majority win this side of the map there's a lot more um area that you can actually use you tend to be higher position so you can uh, take anyone out that tries to be aggressive or maybe make a secondary push up into this area basically you have all of the high ground and um so anyone that tries to push is going to basically get removed um Similarly, if anyone aggressively pushes down here, it's a massive open space and what you can do is you can use these ridge lines here to be able to get shots into anyone that tries to cap your base basically. Um, so yeah, it's basically win this hill area up here and you will win the game um, predominantly. I mean, unless you get some really good light tank players that maybe spot you as you try and push down uh, from this point up here um, down into this area here. What you do want to be aware of if you are going to push um, down to this side to try and get into the base which is here, um, what you need to be aware of, there is some hills area here that you can actually use to stay in cover and also what you want to be doing is making sure that you avoid this area right here where um, tank destroyers will get shots onto you if you go into any of this position here so be aware of that if you are going to move down on this side to try and get into the cap circle there tends to be tank destroyers or people over here that are, can also get shots onto you like we said about this position here um, so be careful of that if that actually is the case and sometimes um, you'll also get people um, camping down here still at the end of the game or they'll have taken this kind of defensive position over here to defend their cap as well. In terms of where artillery tends to go in this game, you're basically uh, here is basically where artillery is and on the opposite side artillery tends to go about here behind this building uh, that you see in black right here this this kind of building here that's where artillery will tend to be not very much cover for artillery alternatively you can also go up into a spot like this in artillery to get shots onto people that maybe are advancing or coming up the field like there so that is pretty much westfield if in terms of a light tank where you want to be going is to begin with you can use this position up here there's kind of a lot of bushes around and you can actually come up into this aggressive position here to spot um, maybe some of the tanks that maybe make their way up this way onto the map so you can get vision range on basically anyone that actually comes up to this position um, and so basically um, you don't want to be a heavy tank going up here at least at the beginning of the game maybe later on you can take this position as you've won this flank and there's some tanks over here but predominantly don't really go up here in a heavy tank because you're you're fresh meat to artillery that are going to be shooting and focusing over this side and also you don't really have the speed to compete with the alternative um, enemy light tanks that are going to be taking that position so be careful don't tend to go up here in your heavy tanks make sure that you're going up into this position here 
uh, realistically as a heavy tank. You can take it up here if you've got good gun depression and a bit of speed, maybe something like an Object 277. You can use this area here to be able to have some good games because there's some cover there and also um, there's, there's some cover here. So this is like solid cover. So you'll be able to actually get behind it um, doesn't protect you from artillery so they can still shoot you in these areas here but in order to get from this point to this point you have to be super fast so if you're in a light tank that's basically the only way you're going to get up here without already winning this flank so yeah basically if you're a heavy tank you want to be sat here um, if you're a really fast light tank or a really fast medium you can get into this position at the start of the game and then you can get shots on anyone that tries to advance um, from the blue team into this spot here um, and also this spot here um, so yeah that is kind of the way you want to play it similarly if you are on the blue team you can do the exact same whereby you go into this spot to be able to to get shots onto anyone that's pushing up this side but it is a bit more risky um, because you generally don't tend to have very many players that have kind of gone into this spot to actually get shots onto anyone that kind of comes up that way um, at least heavy tanks or tank destroyers at the beginning of the game so be careful with that. That's kind of how you play Westfield. I hope that kind of cleared it up for you in terms of when the map comes out. You basically um, are kind of labeled the key points on the map in a second, hopefully. Um, but yeah, you, you want to be taking these aggressive positions um, as much as possible. So this, this area here, this area here, and then mid to late game, you want to be going into somewhere like here. Um, to be able to spot the opponents that might be over here and also over here or um, similarly over there so yeah that's the position you want to take if you do on the blue side win that flank you should be using these hills over here to be able to sh get any shots down into the cap circle and also on anyone um, that is going to be over on this side of the map so yeah that's basically how you play Westfield we'll move on to El Alamein I think now Right, so El Alamein, this is a fairly big map, so it's quite a long one. It's a bit like Kasserine, basically, um, in terms of where you want to take. Well, we won't go into as much detail with this one. Basically, if you're a heavy tank, you want to come up into a position here, or alternatively, you can go down here where there is kind of like a ridge. It's hard to see on this, but there's a ridge down here, and you can get into a rock position here. Now, for the other team, what tends to happen um, if you are a, a heavy tank is they'll also make a position down to here and then you kind of get this, this brawling point in the middle where you're just kind of trading with each other. Mediums will, will kind of take the positions um, on this hill here. Um, so this is kind of the hill area that mediums will take um, as well as actually taking some positions um, over here. This is kind of a, an area. And then on the blue side, that you'll also see this hill being used um, by by your mediums and your light tanks. Um, there's a hill area here which provides provide some cover onto maybe some super aggressive mediums that might have pushed up to here at the beginning of the game. So basically, if you are a kind of tank destroyer and you want some early shots and you want to take the kind of western side of the map, then this is an area that you can get some shots onto. Um, yeah, that's basically that side of the map. Uh, it's kind of just this brawl for this middle area of the map, whereby if you win um, kind of the engagements over here and then uh, against these two, this kind of area down here, what can happen is then you can you can move up around to here and then you can get some shots on some tank destroyers that tend to be about here. And also they'll use this kind of hill area um over here basically is is where this kind of there's kind of tank destroyers that tend to be and also mediums just campers basically uh they'll kind of be in those two positions like we've just mentioned so be aware of that they're, they're the kind of positions that you want to go into it's really hard to kind of show you but these are the sort of positions that you want to be going to and in game you'll kind of notice that hopefully um yeah Basically, there is like this hill area here, so you can use it to get some shots into anyone going into the town. I wouldn't really recommend going into the town at all unless you're in like the mid or late game, because this area here, uh, what we're talking about, this is this is kind of an area where it's a no go. So don't go in there. 
at the beginning or kind of early mid game you want to be using that at the late game when you've kind of won or you found out whether you've won this area over here so if you haven't won that then I definitely don't go mo moving in there because what tends to happen is if you've lost this side you progress into this area then what happens is all of the TDs and the campers that are over here will then be able to get shots into you um, from this area right there. So be aware of that. That's kind of not an area that you want to go into, especially if you've lost that side. So be aware of that. Hopefully that kind of makes sense. Um, the middle of the map, this area here, it's actually kind of like a ravine. So what you can actually use is this hill area over here. You can actually go into um, from this spawn. So when you're uh, on the blue spawn you can move into this area here and then you can get shots and spot anyone that's kind of in this area here so if you want to take that you can but you want to be in a low profile tank you don't want to be in like a mouse or a type 5 so make sure that you're a fairly fast one and if you have to retreat you can basically go into this position here because um, that's kind of like a valley and you can use it to be in cover so if you really have to get out then you can kind of do this maneuver um, at the beginning if you win it, you can then take the route down into the valley and then you can use this spot here um, to be able to spot anyone that's on that side of the map. Kind of interesting, obviously it's Wargaming's typical um, three uh, route map whereby, you know, this is the kind of route that people take. They use this one over here. Um, and then they'll go into these kind of three areas of the map. So these are the kind of key points um, that you want to be kind of winning on each side. Um, hopefully that makes sense. And uh, you kind of enjoy these these kind of tutorial videos. But obviously I don't know how useful they are. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think. Um, because obviously... I can go into more detail when the actual maps come out and I can actually do videos in game but this is kind of like an overview for the for the beginner that's never actually seen these maps before. Now third one we've got Overlord so this is another map that's coming out with the new update on on World of Tanks console. Now we have um, a few different positions that you can basically take. If you're in a heavy tank um, you want to make your way over here. Um, this kind of area um, is one of the maps we'll, we'll Maybe we should highlight the key areas of the maps at the beginning um, and then and then you basically uh, can make your way into these positions from the various areas on the map. So these are the these are the key positions in terms of another kind of semi key position is this area down here. But it's not necessarily an area that you should really focus on too much. It's just kind of you have to keep an eye on the beach area on the bottom Um because what, what can happen is if you lose the beach too hard, what the enemies can actually do is they can progress over this way, use this area here, and then they can get up into this area. And if you're a blue player um, that sat in this kind of area or this kind of area, what happens is then you get shot from behind and in front. So people are going to be hitting you from there as well as in there. And then you get overwhelmed and you're basically going to get taken out from the game. So you have to be aware of the the bottom half of the map in terms of this beach area and then also uh, similarly if you're a blue player and you go down onto the beach you win this way you can come up into here and you can also come up into here and then you'll do the exact same as what happens uh, if you're the red one so make sure that there is someone fighting in this area down here uh, but if you are in this kind of red circle here what you can do is you can get shots on anyone basically um, depending on what team you are um, coming on the these areas here so you can get shots on anyone that way and then if you're on the blue team anyone that's progressed down here then you can basically get shots on them uh, because it is high ground and it's going to be super hard for them to actually get any shots into you so yeah basically these areas of the map right here are are <laughs> an area where you don't really want to go into um, because what happens is you get hit from these areas the area in the middle uh, is somewhat better so you'll be able to actually use it and generally you want to be realistically in this area here because people can't get shots down into you uh, because it's too steep of an angle basically so yeah that's that's the beach area you can use it towards the end of the game obviously if you have to retreat and you're on this red side um, you can always jump back down into this position and then use the beach to kind of flank around and then get in so if you are losing this area in the map here uh, you can basically retreat back, 
come down into these valley areas and then make a make a bit of a play from there but yeah as a whole that, that those are the areas that you want to win this one um this area here which is a ridge line and also this kind of area whereby um people will meet um over here so yeah a key area of the map that you want to take is basically using this area here and also this area and then this is the kind of heavy area of the map whereby you'll be brawling on this corner from each side um you'll you basically make your way over to here and then it will be like a big brawl in this area here of the map so make sure you're going over there in your heavy tanks in your mediums with gun depression you want to be going into this pot or alternatively on the opposite side you want to be going into this spot uh, as a heavy you can also um, you can also go into this spot here um, or this spot here realistically this is a good map for heavies to be honest there's a lot of different places that you can go into um, so yeah use these areas right there for your heavy tanks as well as up here on this corner too uh, mediums can basically use anywhere of the map you can go over to where the heavies are you can go over to here you can also use this area here against some of the opposite medium tanks that are using their gun depression on this hill this area of the map here is actually a, like a little bit of a bowl so it's actually hill areas here around the edges and then it's kind of like a central area which is a dip so basically you can use that if you're a light tank so if you're in your light tank, you can kind of go in here, crest this kind of ridge here or on the other side, the opposite ridge, and then spot anyone that's either in this area or this area of the map for your team. And then, of course, artillery, which is positioned here and also positioned over here, can get shots on the alternate team. So, yeah, that's basically Overlord. Um, really simple map, to be honest. Uh, you can basically use this position, this position uh, or this position. Or if you're in a light tank, you can use this position. Um, if you really want to, you can use the 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 beach, but you want to come into this position. Don't ever uh, push down and come out because that's basic, basically a recipe for disaster. You want to be as close to this cliff line as possible. Come up to here, fight anyone that might be around here in these positions um, as well as here. And then, and then you can use it or you can go right back to their spawn and then up into this position which is also a good area that you can do and then opposite on the same side of the map so yeah that is overlord pretty simple map to play uh, make sure that you take your tanks into those positions to actually win the game now we've got one more this is kind of the last bit of the video uh, we've got well we've got ghost town and scorpion pass but i've don't think we're going to cover scorpion pass because it will be a completely new map and so although it will be relevant it's probably not going to be too relevant uh for when the game actually drops because it is a larger map now so they've expanded it right so ghost town uh key area of the map um you basically it's hard to kind of determine the key areas of the map on ghost town but there are a few uh, that you crucially want to win and um, regarding the spawns you've kind of got this area over here and then like a it's a pretty simultaneous map so you've got or a symmetrical map i should say so basically if you're in this spawn here the the key areas of the map that you want to take are this kind of area here and then if you are on this side of the map the key kind of area that you want to take is actually um is actually this area here basically and and then of course the middle of the map being super important now in terms of the way you should be going on this map um from the blue spawn you want to take this route and then you can come up into this position and then you can focus on this area here where often um the heavy tanks will actually brawl they'll come down into this position and there's kind of like a sloping area where you can get shots into this side and also anyone that's poking this corner so these are kind of the areas whereby a lot of heavy tanks will come into and medium tanks to to kind of get some shots and you also see heavy tanks come in this way and up into this position uh, to kind of get shots as well uh, and then sim similarly they're all coming to focus on these like points here um, whereby you've got the tanks coming in various different ways um, as far as this point up here you can use this really 
pretty annoying spot basically you can go up into the mountain and then you can get shots onto people that are in here or that push maybe aggressively well not actually there but what happens is um you can basically cut if you come into this spot from the blue side uh the people on this can actually get shots into you so it's not really recommended that you ever ever really push this kind of area but you can brawl and take out some hit points of the enemy tanks as far as medium tanks, where what sort of areas do you want, do you want to go into? Well, if you're on this spawn, um, you basically want to use um, the key areas of the map, basically, um, are making your way over to this side, where you can use some of the hills. Um, but what you realistically want to do is come into spots like this, where you can get some shard shots onto anyone that pushes on that area. Or what you can do is you can come to this point here, and get some shots into anyone there or anyone um, on the blue team that may have pushed aggressively up into this spot uh, to do the same sort of thing to you. Um, you'll also see blue tanks coming into here and also up into this spot. So these kind of areas are the sort of areas that you want to be using your medium tanks, kind of brawl a little bit. And also on the other side, you'll see uh, tanks basically coming in uh, to fight at these kind of areas over here and in areas like this. So, yeah, the, you kind of want to play it like a, br a pretty brawling map. Use the cover that you have got available to you in the form of loads of buildings and also ridge lines that you'll see here. Um, and you will also have a couple of ridge lines um, on the other side. So there's usually some ridge ridges over here. And yeah, basically, there's a lot of ridge lines that you can use on the edges of the map. And there's often some like around here, I think it is, um, where you can go behind and use. Um, so yeah, kind of make sure that you're, you're using your gun depression if you get it on some of these ridge lines. Or if you are a light tank, you basically just want to use these by cresting them and spotting for your team and uh, just being really a bit of a nuisance um, by driving fast around basically and trying not to get hit. Not the best map for light tanks, obviously, because it's a town map. Um, but yeah, it's a decent map overall. I hope you guys did enjoy these kind of overviews. I don't know if they were that useful for you, but they do highlight kind of the key positions. Um, and when you get into the actual game and play them, you'll kind of know what I'm on about and the sort of areas that you want to focus on on taking. Um, obviously, I've played the game for a long time. I've been on these different maps for a long, long time. And hopefully these gave you an indication as to the sort of positions that you want to take and also some of the areas that you definitely don't want to take um, as the different tank classes. Obviously, maps are very situational. Games can change. Games can go into completely different positions um, depending on, on how the actual game is going. If you've got the matchup, you know, but these positions are generic and they will tend to be the areas that you'll see a lot of the conflict on the different maps that we've shown. Um, one thing before the video ends, I do want to mention that Scorpion Pass is um, coming back as well, but they are making it bigger. So although we can do one of these analysis on this map, it probably isn't going to be that helpful um, because the map will change and the meta will change. And so it's not really going to be that useful for you guys, um, but hopefully... Um, when that comes out, we will do an actual full in-game map review for you guys and hopefully that will be better anyway. So yeah, hopefully that's cleared everything up. If you like the video, remember to like it and subscribe to see more content if you aren't already. And also remember to comment your suggestions on the various different things and if you actually like this video or you want to see some changes to the videos in the future. Other than that, there's some videos on screen right now that you can have a look at that are guides and how to get better at World of Tanks. Um, but other than that, I hope you have a great rest of your day and I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.